Hi guys, 13 Diamond Creeper reporting, and welcome back to another video. Woohoo! And we're playing. Sly Cooper and the Thievis Raccoonus. So we're gonna do a new game. We're gonna do a new game. Sly, come in! Sly, do you read me? Yeah, I read you. Loud and very loud. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Trying to break into police headquarters does that. Get over it, Bentley. You're safe in the van. I'm the thief here. I've got to steal that file from Inspector Carmelita Fox. Well, count on me to be your eyes and ears, buddy. We got their security system totally scoped. To get inside, you're gonna have to go through that air vent. All right, I'm going in. And don't forget you got me at the wheel, Sly. All you gotta do is grab the file and get back to the van. We'll do the rest. Just keep that engine running, Murray. I'll be down in no time. All righty. Let's begin. Okay, so before we go, we're gonna collect some coins. Oops, here we go. So here we are, Sly Cooper and the Thievis Raccoonus. Hey Bentley, I think I'm seeing things. Must be vertigo or something. Can you see those crazy blue lights? Really? I've read about this. Master raccoon thieves are able to sense thieving opportunities, which manifest themselves as unexplainable blue auras. Uh, according to my research, all you have to do is get near them and hold down the circle button, and you should perform a super sneaky master thief move. Hold down the circle button near blue auras. I'm on it. Okay. Hey, be so sneaky. Alrighty. Be extra careful here, Sly. Break one of those laser beams and you'll set off the alarms. Not to mention you'll be fried to a crisp. Thank you for telling me, Bentley. It's nice to know. Alrighty. Can we do anything? Break anything? No, we can't. That's okay. Okay. Oh, can't get to that door. But, but we can do this. Uh oh. Uh oh. Whew. Glad none of the other roof fall down. Look at all those coins. Oops, there we go. Okay, we got everything here, and we got everything. Way to go, Sly. This is where Inspector Carmelita Fox stashes all her important files. I hacked into the police security mainframe and discovered this vault's combo. Try dialing in 937. All right. Whoopsie. And by doing that, we open the vault. And there's the file we've been looking for. All right, Murray. That sounds cool. And we got ya. Ow. Ooh. Whoopsie. Let's go through the fire scene. Huh? You foolish raccoon. I've caught you red-handed. Ah, Carmelita. I haven't seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay. Which reminds me, you need to return the Firestone of India to its rightful owners. Uh huh. And I was gonna give it to you as a little token of my. Hey, you know, that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Very fetching. You think? This pistol packs a paralyzing punch. You ought to try it. Might snap you out of your crime spree. And give up our little rendezvous? Plenty of time for that once you're safely behind bars. Love to stick around and chat, but I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long enough. Uh oh. 
We just got busted. Now it's time to get going. Oh. Okay, here we go. In the parking lot we go. Oh. Oh. Oh no, I got zapped. It's all right. Take number two. Take two. Oh. Here's where we gotta be careful. Keep going. Oh yeah. Let's get in! Let's go! You can't escape me, raccoon! Yes, we can! Once again, my gang and I have given Inspector Carmelita Fox the slip. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file I've been searching for all these years. With this, I can avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see, I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Thievius Raccoonus. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked their house until they found the Thievius Raccoonus. Our family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme. Ed Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Together we pledged to track down the fiendish five, avenge my father, and steal back the Thievius Raccoonus. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family name to bite the dust. And we don't want that. All right. That let's... was a nice piece of work back there at police headquarters, Sly. Come see me if you want to check out any of your old movies. I've got them all here on my computer. Use the left analog stick to move around the hideout and the X button to select things. Okay. Let's go around. I've already plotted a route to our first target. All right, let's start mission. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on Sir Raleigh the Frog. As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. On a whim, he tried his hand on a bit of piracy found it to his liking. Raleigh, who quickly became addicted to crime, was brought into the fiendish five as chief machinist, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new heights. The last reported sighting of this mad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Isle of Rath, 
a small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of a perilous Welsh triangle. Sly Cooper in Tide of Tear. Ooh, it looks like we're gonna have to be extra sneaky here. Indefinitely. Okay, a stealthy approach, and it's gonna be stealthy indeed. Breakable. Oops, here we go. All right. Hey, Sly, I just spotted something that's going to complicate the mission. See that nasty-looking gate? It blocks the only road leading into Raleigh's hideout. No problem. I'll just use my climb move. Okay, but remember, you can only climb on certain objects, like pipes and ropes. Yeah, sure, and like that ladder there? That is correct, but do not forget, Sly. You have to get close. Then hit the circle button to grab it. Yeah, 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 relax, Bentley. I live for this stuff. Yeah, and that's what worries me. Don't worry, Bentley, we can do it. So what are these bottles? I wonder if we, if we smash it, we'll figure it out. So these clue bottles will be through all the game. Some boards won't have them and some will. And it looks like we have a Laura says a ha hammer can hammer things. He didn't, didn't put much of a fight. And by hitting that pole, we were able to get two clue, clue bottles. Want to avoid the water. Go. We're gonna get some more coins, and these coins go import uh, are important later. But I'll explain in just a sec. Let's see. Hold on, Sly. See those searchlights? One careless step, and you'll be subjected to acute combustion. You done whining? Let's go. I'm just trying to keep you alive, partner. Fortunately for you, I launched these signal repeaters throughout Raleigh's fortress. Get close to one, and I can checkpoint your progress. Nice. All right. So now we know we don't need to worry about too much. And we, oh no, we set the alarm. But that didn't take too much. And now we just got to avoid this guy that's throwing ninja stars at us. Alrighty. We got all the bottles there, good. Let's continue. There's checkpoint activated. According to my amphibio positioning system, that big blimp is where Raleigh is hiding out. You know, that blimp looks more like a machine than a hideout. You're right, Sly. That is a storm machine. It's the reason why it never stops raining around here. That explains all the wrecked ships. But why would Raleigh want bad weather at his own hideout 24-7? Beats me. The rain or shine, I'm going to steal my family's book back. If Raleigh gets in my way, it's on. Definitely. And there's another wars that, is, that looks like the, he's welding, and that can also breathe fire on us. Ooh. There we go. Jump and hit the circle button. Got it. Jump and hit the circle button to grab onto hooks. All right. Here we go. And by doing that, we're over the gate now. There we go. He is no more. Okay, we're gonna take our time through here. All right. Oops. I always got caught by that. Let's take care, get rid of him. And by getting 100, we got a horseshoe. That large vault has got to be somehow related to those clues and bottles you've been collecting. If you can locate all the clues in this area, I should be able to crack the code and get 
get you inside it. All right. Now it's time to figure out if these clues can. We know we can. We just have to find the bottles. And these are the only two bottles left. There we go. Alrighty. Okay. Seven, nine, and two. And by doing that, we get a page of some sort. Alright, that is our first ability, the dive move. And we got you, Riley. And they're the key that might unlock the gate. And there we go. Our first key unlocks the gate. Now it's time to go to the next spot. The pl the plowing ground pl pl plowing the ground. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, here we go. Let's go up. That blimp looks like the most secured location on this boat. If Raleigh's really as smart as his police files suggest, then that's where I'll find him. Wonderful idea, but your plan is flawed. Why? Because it's impossible to get near him. To access Raleigh's blimp, you would have to sneak through that high voltage power tube. To do that without getting electrocuted, you'd have to destroy that power generator. And to do that, you'd need two more of Raleigh's treasure keys, which are heavily guarded. Interesting. So when are you going to get to the impossible part? Fine. But I warned you, I marked the areas you need to hit with holographic markers. Follow them to your objectives. Thanks. Don't mention it. It's your funeral. Well, we shouldn't have too much. We shouldn't have any problem getting past this. And there's another horseshoe. Wow, you found a lucky charm. That'll protect you when you take any damage. Ah, oh, so that's what they are, lucky charms. And as you've seen, one was blue and one was gold. Wow, huh? We got to hear Raleigh for the first time. Now we understand what the Storm's Machine's purpose. Jackpot slide! Look at all this stuff! Must be worth millions! And you know what that means. Tighter security. You're gonna have to be extra sneaky to get the treasure key here. No problem. There's the lasers. So far we're having not too much trouble with them. Go through here. All right, here we go. Security deactivated. Let's get out of here. All right, we're gonna kind of backtrack to make sure there are no other clue bottles. Let's see. Let's get some extra coins. Ooh, I know that door looks creepy. All right, so we got all the clue bottles from back here. Good. Let's continue forward. Let's 
That would be two. Okay, got that. Alrighty, looks like there's another laser grid. And what? Oh, those lasers can fall. Those la that those two set of lasers can follow us. But as long as we stay at a safe distance, we should be fine. Security deactivate it. And here's a lot of clue bottles. You know, Raleigh, your clue bottles are not hitting too well. Check back here. Even more clue bottles. It's a lot of clues. Must be a big code. There's a big statue of Raleigh, it looks. Let's go back here. We'll get over here. Over, over here. There's 15. And we got a checkpoint. And there's no warlesses that can belly flop. Oh no! Well, we're gonna have to keep a good eye out for them. Extra life. Thank you. There we go. That's alright. Alright. Time to go now. So don't worry about the clue bottle here. Um, you can first we're gonna deactivate the security, which is just up ahead. Security deactivate it, and now it's time to get the bot the clue bottle. Twenty-one. Right, here we go. There's two clue bottles behind here. Right now we need to get through this gauntlet of security. Okay, I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna get rid of security. And now it's time to go back and get the bottles. Which I got through here, okay, good. Who's here? And we got 3029. And let's see. Down here. Alright, now it's time to investigate the area and see if we can find that bottle. Found it! <laughs> that one's way, that's a hidden one there. <laughs> Go get a couple extra points. Now as you just seen, since I got two lucky charms, I actually got health now from the hunter. Whoever thought this code up knew what they were doing. Dial in four, three, six. Four, three, Interesting. Old Sally Cooper's fast getaway raccoon roll. Stories claim she can move faster rolling than anyone else could on the run. Hold down the triangle button to use this move. Switch between your power ups using L2 and R2. All right. We got the roll move. And we got you again, Raleigh. You better, you might, you better think of different codes, you know. Then so here's the roll move. Go. Don't want to touch the water. We might end up losing life. Now the lucky charms can do um, health damage, and also do all the forms of damage, but you only get two. Well, this is going to speed things up. And we did it! We got the second treasure key.
Okay, back to the plowing, plowing the ground. Nine. And ten lives over there. And then we're going to go over there. And now we're going to do into the machine. This is going to be interesting. Better close those furnace doors. Jump and press the square button. That'll slam them shut. That's good. That. There's a, guy, there's a wall with a hammer again. Took care of him. He didn't put up much of a fight. Well, that's good. Take care of two things at once, right? Go. Oh, there's an extra clue ball there. Let's see, I think we took care of the another one over there. Yep. Nope. I'm at. <laughs> But my camera just switched. Alright, so it looks like we are in like the engine room or it looks like where the fuel is going to. And then we're going through here. Right, whoa. Took care of that. I have a, good, a, a nice tip here. Take care of the bottles on the uh, top of the ledge first. On the, uh, and on the ropes and you... And then you can, the balls will go to come down here. Okay, we got everything good. Let's keep on moving. And look at this. Wow, look at those massive propellers. It looks like they are electrified as well. Okay, oh, there we go. You didn't put, none of them, none of them put much of a fight. All right, let's keep moving. There's a propeller with four blades. Whoa, almost got touched by one. Keep going. Oh, now this is going to be a gauntlet. So instead of, instead of a life, an extra life, there will be now a, um, a clue bottle there. And why am I not jumping up? <laughs> That got rid of the security. Got rid of him. Good. Here comes a welder. Here we go. He didn't put much of a fight. Let's get all the clues. Ooh, that's a lot of boiling lava. There are two clues back here, along with a lot of crates, it looks. You can't jump up on this furnace slide. You better go back and find an alternate route. We will. But first, we have to get the clue bottles. Ooh, looks like that's a lot of grease on that, on that platform there. There we go. Ooh. 
check. Nine. through here. Wow, it's hot. Alright, we're going to check for that poo bottle we're missing. There we go. Nothing going to fall? Nothing going to fall. Good. I don't see that. Slam the furnace is shut before they reop they open again. And there's a treasure key. Looks like a giant gear. So I'll be right back when I find the bottle. Alright guys, this is the easy clue bottle. We got all 30. Now I got to find get the ball again. After we take care of this board, so I'm gonna speed record when I'll be, and I'll be right back. Ouch, that really hurt. Well, at least we got back here. This guy, that guy should not put much of that. I can't believe I pieced this one together. Try 227. Alrighty. And we did it again. We got another vault. Let's see what's in here. Nice to know. And by the way, when you get the blueprints, you'll actually know, they'll, when you go through section by section of the level, they actually give you all the clues when you, as you're going along the level. So now I'll meet you back at the plowing grounds. All right, guys, we're back to the prowling grounds. All right, gonna take care of him. get a couple extra lives. 
go. And also, guys, if you um late in the game, if you're doing chore on lives, or if you like to get more lives, this is the best board to do it on. Okay, there's a lucky charm, but if we use this tree, I think we'll be able to get there, and indeed it does. Okay, back up to full health in terms of lucky charms. You can adjust the game camera using the right analog stick, and to bring the camera behind you, click it. All right, time to take the squid out. Okay, a chaining this guy's. I wonder what this has. Wonder what this what this is gotta be about. Two clue bottles automatically. Take care of some. Get some books. Apparently, we have entered a library. Let's see. Those rats got pegged. Raleigh appears to have booby trapped this entire place. I'm gonna enjoy this. Don't you get it, Sly? If you step on that rug, forget about becoming a master thief. You'll be a master dartboard. Wait a second. What if I jumped into that barrel for protection? I don't know. It looks pretty risky and very unsanitary. Only one way to find out. Indeed. Let's go in. Give me two balls, and that pair, that trick now works. Now we can protect ourselves while we're going through this area. Take care of you. All right. As you can see, there's like red, red targets that just tells me the breakable, but green tells me the clue bottles where they, where they are. Going further into this library. See nothing behind there? No. So far, so good. I bet if you stayed still inside the barrel, the guard won't be able to see you, even if he shines his flashlight on you. And that even works as well. Time to take, it, take that squid out. There is a health. I just missed that. Six. I see before we get going, we're gonna take the squid out. A couple more extra coins. Alright, we're gonna see those green targets, that's where the clue is. But there are no clues nearby. I'm moving. All right. Oh, we're gonna first take out those uh, those dart those dart launchers. Take these out. Have a little. Give me some coins. And look at all those clues hidden in little vaults and stuff. Yeah. We are so far up to 19. And it looks like we're clear. We can now proceed. Alright, we're doing pretty good. There's Raleigh. Now we can make the break for it. There's a clue right there. There we go. Took care of that squid. Trying for anything down there. Looks like there's two clues at, behind that bookshelf. Up. Here we go. Get up here. And oh there we go. I had to crack the camera. Doing pretty good. Just 
can take the alarm systems out. We have three food bottles over here. Here. Ready. All right, this spot a couple clues up there. So before we get the treasure key, we're gonna go up there. Oh. It gives us three, and I left the two clue bottles over there near the vault so we can remember them where they are. 30. Two. That's easy enough. Gotta fix that middle one. And there we go. And already 10% in the game. That's pretty good. Outstanding. Another page from the Thelius Raccoonus. This one features Death Cooperinda's slow motion jumps. He used this to get by all kinds of airborne threats. Hit the triangle button while in the air to slow down time. That's so convenient. And we did it again, Rob. We did it again. Raleigh's really gonna have to make better security here if he doesn't want anyone getting his vaults. But we always will come back and get them anyways. So it really doesn't really matter. And there's a treasure key. Do the next board coming up here in a sec. Sly, see that machine wheel? If my knowledge of mechanical engineering serves me right, applying significant rotational torque to achieve maximum velocity will yield a positive result. You mean something good might happen if I can get the wheel to spin fast enough? Isn't that what I just said? Yeah. We just want to make sure it works. here the fire down below this is gonna be interesting temperatures reading way off the charts in here this must be the power source for the storm machine definitely let the Furnace is cool off. That was close. Take care of him. Any more? Nope. There's a lot of furnaces here. We shut them down. Six. There's seven. Whoa, that was too close. See, we'll break through all this obsidian, and look at that! Reveals us three clue bottles. And now in this episode, and now apparently in this spot, we're gonna have to use the wheel to our advantage. Right now, we gotta get the clue bottles. Oh, there's another clue right there, okay. right there we can uh, get onto this gear we don't need to worry about the hook there we go okay, we got clue bottles down there we're not gonna worry about that at the moment Let's get on this little pipe That was close. Teen. They're saying there's a lot of clues over there. We'll go there over in a second. Don't fall. Okay, thank you. 
And by the way, on pipes and stuff, you can actually release the circle and it'll still have you holding on, which is pretty good. So I believe if we go through here, we should be able to get a lot more code. Oh! Just avoid that. Avoid those two. But they didn't put much more fight. We got 17 lines. Breaking out city gives us a lot of points. 22. I'm going to wait for the spotlight to go and let's see what this wheel is. You got to be careful. It looks like we can't break the door, but I'm thinking the meteor are already beginning to bring down the conveyor belt might be the way of opening this. And we almost got it. One more. Yeah! We did it. Go through here. We got four more. Let's first deactivate the security. There we can deactivate it. We're not going to continue, we're going to, there we go, we got the vault, and now we just got to go back and then find the vault, which the vault is easy to find in this level, it's just at the very beginning of the board, we're going to quickly go back, wow, nearly fell in the lava, alright, over here, we're gonna backtrack a bit. Wait for this furnace to go. Take a little shortcut. Press the circle to enter the vault code. I'm unbeatable! No code can stand before me! It's got to be five, seven, nine! Alright! Five, seven, and nine. Now we're 13 percent of the game already. Another page from the Thievius Raccoonus. Interesting. Chris Cooper's dive collection technique. This move is an extension of the dive move you already know. Just jump and hit the triangle button near breakable objects for some fast breaking, fast collecting action. That's good to know. Did it again. So here's the move. Uh, not a good spot to do it. So, here we go. That's the move. Let's go up in the air, press triangle, and then you'll be able to use the move. There we go. We're going to switch to slow. We get on top of the gear. There we go. We go over here. Whoop. Go over here. This is a pretty unsafe place, I have to admit. Go ahead, it's gonna get these two points here. Jump here. That's a slow move. <laughs> and there we go! We got another treasure key, and it's the fifth treasure key. Good progress so far. So we are now back to the prowling, prowling ground. And there we go. <laughs> so let's see if we can unlock that generator. Indeed it did. Let's break the generator now. And and corn galore. So there is not an extension to this, but I think we'll have to save it for the next episode. 
Alright guys, so that is all I got for the Sly Cooper video. If you really liked the video, please hit the double like button. I know no so no, but hit it anyways. If you really liked the video, please hit the comment button, share it for like it, that's okay by me. Subscribe to the channel if you see more videos like this, you'll see them on your homepage and in the suggestions down below. That is all I got for this the Sly Cooper video, and I will see you next time. Bye bye